Hi guys, welcome you to another news this morning, this afternoon, this evening. I say welcome and still on the issue of Mazanam Dikano's trial. A lot of people have reacted saying that Mazanam Dikano is innocent. A lot of people have reacted saying this man should be prosecuted once and for all. And as it stands now, Bruce Finn, as we all know, is the American lawyer to the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Inam Dikano, have just spoken out and said that it is the Buhari's government that ought to be in trial and not Inam Dikano. Putin's assault on Ukraine is Tea Party compared to Buhari's treatment of Inam Dikano. That is what the US lawyer have said. He's saying that the way the federal government of Nigeria, you know, is treating Enam Dikano, is treating IPOP, cannot be compared to the way Putin's assault on Ukraine because that one is small to what the Buhari government is doing to Enam Dikano and IPOP. What is your thought to this? If you are new to this channel, don't just watch and leave. Do subscribe and don't forget to turn on the bell icon to get it. To get you notified anytime we post a new update and a big shout out to our existing subscribers i want to say a big thank you i want to say a big thank you we are saying sharing our appreciations with you i want to employ you to continue and as you do so the lord bless you now to the full details of the news bruce Fain, american lawyer to inam dikano the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP has said the Nigerian government ought to be the ones on trial, not Kano. Fain, in a release obtained by Sahara reporters on Thursday, stated that what the Russian president Putin was doing with his troops in Ukraine was Tea Party compared to what the Buhari government is inflicting on Biafran leader and Biafra. The IPOB leader has been detained in the facility of the Nigerian Secret Police, the Department of State Service, for over 10 months, having been arrested since June 27, 2021. He has been arraigned several times before the Federal High Court Abuja over charges of treasoning, treasonable felony, terrorism, and illegal possessions of firearms, among others, which the latest court sitting on Wednesday, you know, including the latest sitting on Wednesday. The court on Wednesday had declined to grant bail to the detained IPOB leader. Justice Binta Oyako had held that Kano must explain the reason why he breached the previous bill that was given to him before he enjoyed another favorable discretion from the court. Reacting in a statement on Thursday, Finn said Kano should not be the one facing trial, rather it should be the government of Nigeria. He said the Fulani controlled government of Nigeria should be on trial, not in Amdi Kanu. The former prosecution of the latter turns the law on its heads from an instrument of justice to a weapon of oppression. Judicial notice can be taken for you know can be taken of the following pardon. The Nigerian government attempted to assassinate Namdi Kano in September 20, you know, 2017 for exercising its constitutional and international law rights to self-determination by the people of Biafra. The Abia Court, Abia High Court, has awarded Mazen Namdi Kano 5 billion naira in damages of the violation. The attempted assassination disqualifies the Nigerian government from prosecuting Mazenam Dikano for lack of impartiality required by due process and international law. The Nigerian government continues to deny the people of Biafra their own 
unalienable rights, the self-determination enshrined in just cogens, that is, mandatory international law and Article 1 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. The Nigerian government conspired with the government of Kenya to kidnap and torture in Kano in June 2021. The Nigerian government conspired with the government of Kenya to subject Kano to extraordinary rendition to Abuja, Nigeria in violation of international law and relevant extradition treaties. Since its criminal extraordinary rendition, Enamdikano has been denied access to counsel of his choice in violation of international law. In violation of international human rights laws and the Nigerian constitution including himself on multiple occasions. The Nigerian government speaking through Chief George Tosho had authorized a secret trial of Enamdikano in hopes of concealing its planned criminal judicial murder of the defendant. The Nigerian government has denied Mazenamdikano a universally recognized presumption of innocence by pushing him with 11 months of cruel imprisonment without a scrum of admissible evidence of guilt submitted to a court of law. The Nigerian government has denied Mazenamdikano a right to a trial within a reasonable time after the detention despite its army of law enforcement resources by compounding delay upon delay for nearly a year and scampering away from a hard trial date. To underscore the stupendous magnitude of Buhari Malami Nyako from Virates, denier of Mazenam Dikanistan international law and constitutional rights, a comparison with the due process received by Nazi leaders accused of the most unspeakable crimes in the history of mankind by the International Military Tribunal at Nuremberg is instructive. The Nazi leaders enjoyed access to counsel, Mazenam Khan has not. The Nazi leaders enjoyed a presumption of innocence, Mazenam Khan has not. The Nazi leaders received fair notice of the crimes alleged by the IMT prosecution team. The accusation against Mazenam Khan has expressed that an infinite level of generality that confounds preparation in a defense. The accused Nazi leaders, some of which were acquainted, were tried based upon volumes of authenticated evidence and testimonies subject to cross-examination. The Nigerian government has failed to adduce a shred of authenticated evidence or testimony subject to cross-examination the greatest engine ever invented for, you know, having invented for the discovery of truth. The accused Nazi leaders were prosecuted within eight months after the conclusion of the World War II. Mazenam Dikano has yet to receive a trial after 11 months of agonizing detention. We can now see that the federal government of Nigeria are the ones that needs to be in prison. They are the one that should be under trial, not Nam Dikano. Nigeria's messy, you know, messless lawlessness against Mazenam Dikano should thunder every day like a hammer on an anvil throughout world corridors of power until justice is done. You understand? What Russia President Putin is doing in Ukraine is a tea party compared to what the, you know, villainous Nigerian Tromvirit is inflicting on the Biafra leader and Biafra. International 
ostracism and boycott should be forthcoming accordingly. That is what has been said by Bruce Finn. We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this, saying that what Putin is, you know, doing as an assault on Ukraine is just a tea party compared to what Buhari's government is giving to Mazenam Dikano and IPOP as treatment. We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. We would like you to share your own point of view with us via the comment section. We would like you to let us know your take to this. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.